Hi you guys, this is Dr. Ismaya Sadagar from The Dentalist. Today we will be studying prosthodontics. A lot of students find this subject very difficult to comprehend and memorize. But we will study it in a manner that is easy for you to grasp the knowledge so that you are able to perform well in your theory as well as in your clinical rotations. So blow the dust off your books and let's get started. Let's start off by understanding edentialism. Edentialism is basically the loss or absence of the teeth which causes the loss of integrity of the masticatory system, compromising the functional and aesthetic well-being of an individual. Speaking of changes in appearances, there are six morphological changes that you must memorize and will help you to identify an edentulous patient from far. They are number one, deepening of the nasolabial groove. Number two, loss of the labiodental angle. Number three, decrease in the horizontal labial angle. Number four, narrowing of the lips. Number five, increase in the columella filtral angle. Number six, prognathic appearance. Now it is important to note that the patient who is experiencing complete edentulism has feelings ranging from inconvenience to severe handicap because of the inability to chew food, function properly and also because of the appearance. So it is important for a dentist to counsel the patient, encourage them and take care of them from the first visit to the very last. An interesting thing to note is that the natural dentition varies significantly from the artificial teeth that you're going to provide to the patient. An important variation is that of the periodontal ligament which provides support and positional adjustment to the tooth and also sensory perception. An edentulous patient is deprived of all of these functions. Second, the pedial covered area in the natural dentition in each arch is usually more than the mucosa available for denture bearing areas in both the maxilla and the mandible. When the teeth are lost, the empty socket fills up with bone forming the residual alveolar ridge. This residual alveolar ridge is the foundation for the dentures and is not suitable if the ridge becomes uneven. Over time, the residual alveolar ridge undergoes progressive and irreversible resorption and ultimate disappearance. This happens most commonly in the anterior mandible. However, there are two important factors under the control of the dentist that improve the retention of the dentures. They are number one, adequate extension of the denture base over the mucosa so that it derives maximum support. Number two, intimate contact of the denture base to the basal seat. This is also the reason why you should record an accurate impression. Now in complete dentures, there's a concept known as the neutral zone or arch form. It is the position of the artificial teeth in which they are in balance with the muscles of the buccal and lingual side. The neutral zone position helps in stabilizing and retaining the dentures. The bite force in the dentures is reduced by 20% than that to the natural teeth. This is why an edentulous patient should be monitored for their diet so that they have something softer and easier to eat with their set of teeth. Now let's sum up all that we have learned today. We talked about edentulism and the six morphological signs that help you identify an edentulous patient. We discussed how it is difficult for an edentulous patient to adapt to the artificial teeth and also about the compromised bite force. We also understood what is the neutral zone concept and why it is important. So you see, it was that easy. Together we can learn in a simple and effective manner and ace the exams. Now don't forget to take the quiz for this topic. I'll attach the link in the description below. In the next video, we'll cover systemic health aspects and nutrition for the e-dentalist patient. For complete denture prosthodontics, I'd recommend you to go through Prosthodontic Treatments for e-dentalist patients by ZARB, 13th edition. So I hope you learned something from this lecture. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. If you want me to cover any other topic, please mention it in the comments below. That's all for today you guys, this is Dr. Ismaya Sudhagar and I'll see you all in another comprehensive lecture very soon. So stay with us and take care.